So here's my new uh, Simpson helmet. It's been a few years since I got a got a new helmet. So I just ordered this. This thing was out of stock for a while. And uh, you know, being Asian, we tend to have a, a round head. So buying helmets is really difficult for me. I just you know have a hard time fitting them because they're, most helmets are too narrow. You know, you know, white folks have very narrow heads. Um, and Asian folks have very round heads. So, so this this helmet here uh, is known to have a round, you know, round fit, and that was actually developed for specifically for the Japanese market. I I didn't know that. Uh, so um, so you know. So it should have a very round head. I haven't, been, you know, obviously haven't tried it on or anything yet. Just barely got got it in the, in the got it delivered just today. So let's open this up. Got it. Have a hard time holding a camera and doing things with one hand. Okay, let's, I, I thought it was kind of pricey for what it is. I mean, it's, it's like a four hundred dollar helmet. I don't usually buy helmets that that expensive, but. Uh, most important thing is fit, right? So here's the Simpson uh, M30. So again, it's, it's known to be, it's known to have a very round shape. So, so I've never tried a Sim Simpson before, so, so we'll see how it fits. But anyways, so that's the helmet. Again, it's been a f quite a few years since I've had a, had a helmet. And every helmet that I have actually always been kind of tight, uh, narrowly speaking. Oh, so you get the top view, it's very round. You can see it actually, it's very round. Uh, bottom view is kind of hard to tell, but it's also, you know, it's a lot of, you know, a lot of helmets, you actually see the width of it's all narrow and the length of it is really long. So, so the thing that this thing is known for is that not just it's wider, rounder, but also the, the, the chin bar is really close to your nose. And again, you know, if you're, if you're white, you tend to have a narrower head, but longer, over overwise front to back so that's why it would be you know close to, to your nose but again you know i haven't tried it so so we'll see uh so again this is a 400 bucks 400 dollar helmet uh it's a pretty simple helmet you know there's no vents or anything like that it's just like my bell my bell um it's kind of similar to the uh bell uh God, what was that called bell I can't remember now. Anyways, the Bell, the Bell Retro Design Helmet or the uh, Built Well Helmet, right? But obviously this one has a chin chin bar air ventilation, but the rest of it, it's just round. I like I like these type of helmets because they're less bulky, so they catch less wind, but also they don't have as much noise because, you know, again, they catch less wind, right? You know, they have that less wind noise. Uh, so this one actually has a seal around the Around the uh, visor, the face face uh, shield. Unlike the built well, the built well is not. It's just hard plastic everywhere, so so wind will actually go through it. Oh come on! Shoot, I can't do this with one hand. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna just put the camera down and try this on. Okay, so playing around with with it a little bit, the fit. So it feels pretty good. It still feels uh, like above my the thing with my head is above my head. On, you know, not above my head, but the side of my head, ab above my ears, uh, above my ears, probably about you know if my ears are right here, my ears right here, probably about right here, above and back, and diagonally. Uh, that those you know both sides, those spots still feels kind of. Uh, you know, like a little tight spot, but that's 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 actually the, the widest part of my head. It's actually right there. Um, so I still feel a little bit of that, but it doesn't feel like it's a bunch of pressure like most helmets are. Where usually when I get a headache, that's that's actually the cause of the headache right there is because of the pressure in that in that spot. The cheek pad feels alright. It feels you know feels like new cheek pads. You know, kind of like snug fitting. They do come with a uh, another extra set cheek pads that are narrower. So these these ones are. They say 10 millimeters wide, so I'm, I'm guessing this other one is neither 15 millimeters or maybe even 20 millimeters. 
probably 15 I'm guessing let's see yeah 15 maybe 20 maybe maybe double the thickness but it's it's a considerable it feels considerably thick thicker than this these ones do these ones if I put these ones on my cheek pads feel too loose it feels like the the, the stomach could, could uh, wiggle around so uh as far as my my nose it hits it doesn't hit where it doesn't hit but it almost hits right here the tip of my nose almost hits right here at the tip of this way here so if you look at it this way here see how it's how this way it goes in it'd be nice if my nose was sitting like right right here like where, where the tip of my finger is then i would i would actually probably have you know at least have an inch of clearance but uh but my nose the tip of my nose is not sitting right there my tip of my nose is sitting like right here right where this the, where this thing you know sticks in so um so yeah so oops so uh sitting right in there you know it's kind of like that so it's uh it's almost touching you know it's probably within five millimeters or so away from touching so uh yeah, yeah so this helmet feels like it sits kind of i don't know this at least this this chin bar here feels like it sits a little bit higher up because literally my, the tip of my nose you see right here the tip of my nose is like it's like right there like that so you know, it'd be nice if my tip of my nose is further down like down right here so that way I have, there's more clearance down there so yeah so this so i think the chin bar uh, sits kind of high uh especially you know i put it on and if i if i if i actually rotate the helmet back like that where the tip of my nose is down in there the eye part and the, the whole helmet just feels like it's it's rotated back too much so but if i rotate it more downwards the chin bar downwards if the helmet feels, feels feels better it feels more proper and that's when my the tip of my nose is like literally right there so but it doesn't touch it's a it's a pretty tight fit right there but it doesn't touch and uh yeah yeah so this chill so far this helmet feels pretty good again it feels like a new helmet so you know when you put on a new helmet it always feels kind of different kind of strange uh feeling compared to you know what you, you've been wearing for like you know because my my built well my built well kringo s i've been wearing that helmet for like geez easily three years now if not more than three years so it's so my helmet usually only lasts about two years uh but for some reason that that one's lasting longer than normal um actually i know why it's lasting longer than normal because of it was because of lockdown during that time didn't go didn't really go anywhere right and you know didn't really go into work or anything like that right so less riding less time riding less time wearing me right so that's why it lasted longer um Let's see. So one thing I don't like is this this mechanism right here. This latch mechanism. So you go all the way up. You know, it's, it, you know obviously you can see and this side doesn't have anything. It's just a screw, like a flat head screw. This side you can see the slot for it, where it, you know where it limits the, the travel of this upswing and downswing. All right. So there's that. This thing right here. Um, what I don't like is this notching mechanism right here. It's basically there's a hole here, and it just you know when this comes down, this comes down, it has to kind of expand outwards. Then it catches over, right? Then it pops in, right? Same thing when you take it out, you have to actually get your thumb in right here and push this outwards, or get your fingers in and you push it outwards before you can pop it up, uh, and before you can move it up. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you're trying to do it with your right hand, you can't because, you know, your right hand is nothing there, so it's going to stay latched, so you have to do it with your left hand, uh, so it's just, you know, so it's a left hand operation to, uh, to, to pop this thing up, uh, so yeah, so I'm not sure if I like this, it's, I mean, it's simple, you know, there's no, there's my, my built well, it's basically, it's a, um, it's a button, right, it's a button that snaps, it's a snap. So this one is not, this one is just basically a hole. So, so, so anyways, yeah, it's a cool little helmet. I like it. Uh, oh, this is a sticker, so I'm probably going to take that off. I don't, I'm not a big fan of, I'm not a big fan of stickers and such, so I'm going to take this off. Um, put some heat on it. Um, 
got like a little, uh, um, what's it called? Um, blow dryer or heat gun. We will light heat, should uh, loosen that up nicely. And this is a dot only helmet, so no snail, and I like that. I do not like snail helmets. Snail helmets are probably the worst helmets to have. Uh, the way that the snail, um, you know, the snail, snail organization, organization test the helmets, it's not realistic. It's just, you know, no one hits the head in the same exact spot twice. It's like, that doesn't happen. It's like, so to, to pass that test to hit the same spot twice, you know, and it's a pretty hard blow, the helmet itself has to be much harder. And when that, when it's, when it's that much harder, that means there's less cushioning there, right? Because it's harder, that means that, that energy passes through in, to, you, to you, to your brain. So that's why I don't like that. Um, so the dot's better in that case. Uh, that's why I like the lot better. It's, it's a little more cushy. Or also the, uh, the ECU, the uh, European ECE, ECU, I can't remember what it is, but the European standard one's a lot better too. Much better than the uh, snail helmet. So anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna take off the sticker too. You know, this way here's not a sticker, this is in part of the uh, the paint job, I guess. You know, there's nothing, I put my fingers across here and you know, there's nothing catching. So it's part of the paint job, so it's part of the helmet. So yeah, so that's, that's my helmet, my new helmet. But yeah, so, so far I'm digging it. Again, this helmet was really hard to come by. It was, uh, it was pretty much out of stock the whole, almost the whole time during, uh, during the lockdowns supply chain problems but anyways so I finally got one at least the color that I wanted they, you know, they had they had a, they had the flat black one but I do not like flat colors uh, flat colors looks kind of kind of cheap and also I don't like black because it gets too hot you know your head gets too hot so that's why I prefer white it uh, keeps you a little cooler and it makes you a little bit more visible so do purpose right there anyways so that's my uh, Simpson helmet so you know once I put a lot of miles on it you know probably a couple years later I will come back to this and you know uh, give a long-term uh, review thanks for watching